so today, as I was saying, we are at the final lesson of Module 1, 1 1.16. Go ahead and turn open to where you wrote down the learning goal. Your learning goal for today is to use everything you've learned about place value and working with decimals to solve word problems. Okay, we've learned how to multiply decimals and divide decimals by powers of 10, yes? Yes. Yeah. We've learned how to compare decimals, right? Yeah. We've learned how to round decimals by thinking about the midpoint, yes? Yes. Yeah. We've learned how to use place value charts to figure out how to add and subtract decimals. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've also learned how to multiply and divide a decimal by a whole number, right? Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna take all of those skills and we're gonna combine them together. We're gonna do, do all of them in order to solve these word problems. Now that we know that we're trying to figure out how much money each child received and that he shared his $126 equally amongst four children, let's use a tape diagram. And I want everyone to draw this in your problem set so you have an example of how a tape diagram looks. We can use a tape diagram to represent this problem. We can draw a piece of tape and divide it into four equal sections. Why are we dividing the tape into four equal sections? Sophia? Because he has four children. So this is child number one, child number two, child number three, and child number four. Okay? Now they all are going to share all together. When I add up the amounts all four kids have, it's going to be $126. So this tape diagram represents this problem. Do you see that? Yes. Great. How can I find out how much one child gets? What do I need to do? Ashwin? I need to use division. Now, is this a sharing division problem or a grouping division problem? Sharing. What do you think, Alina? Thank you for raising your silent hand. Sharing. Yeah, because we're sharing the money equally amongst four groups. What number is my dividend? Which number needs to live inside the house? Lakshan? Uh, the 126. 126. And knocking on the door is the divisor. What number is the divisor, Roni? It's four. Okay, so can we do one divided by four? No, so we have to think right to the tens. How many tens do I have? How many tens do I have? Twelve, twelve tens. If I want to share twelve tens equally among four groups, how many tens will I have? Three. If I put three tens in each group, how many tens did I use up? I could do three times four, which is twelve. And how many tens do I have left over? Zero. So I can move right on to the ones. How many ones do I have? Six. If I want to share those six ones equally amongst four groups, how many ones would be in each group? Sherilyn, how many ones would be in each group? One. One, one. When I put one in each of those four groups, how many do I have? How many did I use up? Four. And so how many ones are left? Two. Two. I can regroup those two twos to become what? 20. Alex, what can I regroup? I can, re I can unbundle these two ones and turn them into? Are we gonna, we could, are we gonna skip all the way to 100s? What would be the next? 20 tenths. So can I bring down zero tenths to turn that into 20 tenths? Sure. Now, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so I have more space, good, okay. If I have 20 tenths and I want to share them equally amongst four groups, how many can go into each group? Ashwin? Five. Okay, so if I do that, how many tenths did I use up? 20. And now I have zero left. So my answer is 315. Each kid would get $315. $315. Is that reasonable? No. So what fabulous fail did I make? What fabulous fail did I make, Sporty? When I was dividing, when I was sharing these 20 tenths by four, what should my answer be? Five, five tenths. Did I write five tenths in my quotient? No. I wrote five ones. I needed to write this decimal point here to make it five tenths. So the answer is each child would get $31 and... Is that $31.05? When we deal with money, we always have to write it all the way to the hundreds place, right? So it's $31.50. 
So in this case, what is the question asking? The question is asking, what was the weight of each bag? And we need to know the important information, you're going to do this in your notebook too, is that first Brandon makes three, six and eighty-three hundredths pounds of cashews with five, three and fifty-seven pounds, three and fifty-seven hundredths pounds of pistachios. Then he took that mix and he divided it equally into six bags. After he was done with that, he still had thirty-five hundredths of a pound left. So that is all important information, okay? The question is again asking what was the weight of each bag? Let's draw a tape diagram in order to help us figure this out. Okay. Oh, it, in fact, it says use a tape diagram. So go ahead. You can see here I have a blank piece of tape. Go ahead and draw yourself a blank piece of tape so that we can use a tape diagram. First, we know that Brandon's mix contained pistachios, or sorry, cashews, and pistachios. Those are some yummy nuts. Okay. How much did the cashews weigh? Ella, how much did the cashews weigh? Um, the cashews weighed six and eighty-three pounds. Six and eighty-three pounds. Oh, hundreds. Hundreds of a pound. Good. And then, Alex, how much did the pistachios weigh? Um, the pistachios weighed three point five seven pounds. Three point five seven pounds, or three and fifty-seven hundredths of a pound. How can I find out the total weight of the mix? If I want to find out how much the entire piece of tape weighed, what could I do? Swarty? Um, yeah, so I can add 6 and 83 hundredths to 3 and 57 hundredths. By adding the weight of the cashews and the pistachios, I can see that the total weight of Brandon's mix was 10.4 pounds. Yes? Yes. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to figure out how much each bag weighed because that's what the question is asking. So let's draw another piece of tape. Okay. And we know that he split his that mix up into how many different bags? Six. So go ahead and draw yourself six bags. One, two, three, four, five, six. And did his six bags use up the entire weight? No, right? There was some left over. How much, how much pounds was left? This is the amount that was left here. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six bags that were equal, but then there was a certain amount left over. How much was the part, how much did the part weigh that was left over? Sonia? Uh, uh, 3,500. Yeah, 3,500 of a pound. So if we know that the total weight was 10 and four tenths of a pound, and after he divided it up, he had three thirty-five hundredths of a pound left. How much was this rest of it? How much did he split into the six bags? How could you find that amount? What could you do? If I know the total amount is four, ten and four tenths pounds, and I know that there were thirty-five hundredths of a pound left over, how can I find out how much he actually used to split into the bag? Ella? So, yeah, so because I know that the entire weight from here all the way to here is 10.4 pounds, and I know from here to here is 35 hundredths of a pound, in order to find this part, I can subtract. I can do 10.4 minus 0 0.35. Am I ready to subtract? No. Why not? Alina? Alina? I forgot to line up the place values, so I need to be very careful. That's a very easy, fabulous fail to make. Okay. Let's subtract. 10.4. Zero hundredths minus five hundredths. Can we do that? No. Let's regroup. Now I have ten hundredths minus five hundredths, which is how many hundredths? Five. Okay. Three tenths minus three tenths is? Zero, zero tenths. Ten ones minus zero ones is? Ten ones minus zero ones is ten. So now I know that the amount from here to here is ten and five hundredths of a pound, right? Now the question is asking what is the weight of each bag? So if I know that from here to here is ten point zero five pounds, how can I find out what the weight of one bag is? A DT?
I can divide 10 and 5 hundredths, and then I know that's shared equally amongst these six bags, so I can divide it by six. Go ahead and take a moment in your notebook right now or in your problem set to do this division problem. 10.05 divided by six.